welcome to Prime News. Now look at the headlines. Goa government backtracks from sponsoring legislators as Brazil junkets. Sports minister backs out from even personal sponsored tour blames government. Modi's marathon Goa visit on Saturday. Security agencies conduct mock drill of PM's visit. 500 policemen to guard Panji. NCP plans to write to PM Narendra Modi about Tourism Minister Dilip Parulekar's corruption saga. Doubts CM Parikar's intention of taking action. Consult with experienced mining dependents and frame mining policy demands a mining dependence rally. Rally targets Parikar welcomes Modi. And a youth allegedly attacks two persons with knife at Vasco, climbs on a rooftop of a house, pelts stones at police, reconstructs Viru in Shole. And now the news in detail. Parikar government is on a back foot now after much hue and cry by media and society over legislators. Brazil bash. Brazil trip is on, but the sponsors seems to have changed now. Sources informed that two major business have been approached to sponsor this junket now after a boomerang. Chief Minister tried to save the day by saying MLA's trip is a study tour to Brazil as the state is a contender for organizing under-17 world football tournament. World Cup football kicked off in Brazil on Thursday night. The football fever is making waves throughout the globe, but in Goa, Brazil football mania is in news for wrong reasons. Six Goan legislators were all set for Brazil trip to enjoy football at the cost of state exchequer. When media sensed it, the plan boomeranged on the Parikar government. After media and public pressure, Goa government went on a back foot and withdrew the trip. Sports Minister finally flung into damage control mode and declared that government has scrapped state legislators' Brazil tour. Minister further said that legislators are free to visit Brazil to enjoy World Cup football, but at their own cost, and he is out of the group. Ramesh Tavarkar also cleared that cancelling footballer Bruno Coutinho's name from the list was government's decision. Uh, हेजे डेलीगेशन वतले जे आमदार आणि मंत्री वतले ते स्वतःच्या खर्चान वतले अशा तऱ्हेचे आज ता डिसिजन झाले या ब्राझिला गोतपातो जो विषय असलो त्या विषयातन हमे स्वतः ड्रॉप झाला असा ब्रुनो कुतिनो दरिक अर्जुनेवाडी फुटबॉल प्लेयर दे झाला सुद्धा तो आमचा आमचा एम्प्लॉई असा काय का मग त्या संदर्भात गव्हर्नमेंट डिसिजन घेतले की बाबा कोणाक धाडपाचे कोणाक न धाडपाचे असं आणि ते गव्हर्नमेंटचे डिसिजन आहे now, one of the team members of this group, Minister Avartan Furtado, says that they are determined to go to Brazil but will spend from their pocket. Since it's been, it's been a big controversy that we are going for the World Cup at the exchequer's cost, now we have met, all six of us have met, and we have decided. Then we won't be a burden to the exchequer and we have decided to go at our cost. MLA Benjamin Silva also reiterated what Avertano uttered. Vasco MLA Carlos Almeida says Brazil tour was out of their love for football. I'm a solid sports lover, so so I am a chance for uh, this, uh, this uh, a chance to have a because of public opinion. I'm at the bus, I'm the CM over and then, then we will discuss that issue, what to be done. Sources inform that this bunch of legislators are certainly going to Brazil, but there are attempts to get the tour sponsored at the cost of two major business houses in the state. Congress leader Jitendra Desh Prabhu terms this as crony capitalism. They wanted to go at government cost. The MLAs and ministers were dishonest. Is this why people elected them? That there are two corporate houses which are sponsoring them. So it's not their own cost. This is a clear case of crony capitalism. Funds you force some corporate houses to sponsor a particular trip 
is nothing short of corruption. Congress says Parikar is maligned Modi image. He is demeaning the sports by calling sports is like tourism. Sports is not tourism. Sports is a serious business for this country. So I think he has done it to malign the name of the Prime Minister. Earlier he did it that Gauda matter the, on the Facebook. I think all these stabs are to malign the Prime Minister. I don't know whether he has ambition to become Prime Minister. But you know there are ways of doing things but not maligning his own party. Mr. Modi started well. All these six legislators, Sports Minister Ramesh Tawadkar, Fisheries Minister Avertan Furtad, Power Minister Milin Naik, Aldon MLA, Glenn Ticklow, William MLA, Benjamin Silva and Vasco MLA, Carlos Almeida were all set to enjoy last three matches of Football World Cup at the cost of government. Out of these six, Ramesh Tawadkar has backed out from this controversial junket and the CM Parikar has taken another U-turn by cancelling government sponsorship to these legislators. But after continuous media pressure. Bureau report prudent. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be in the state on Saturday. Government has finished all the arrangements required for Modi's Goa visit. SPG staged a mock drill of security measures on Friday. Police have already cautioned Goans to avoid entering Panji during evening hours on Saturday. Kala Academy to Donna Paul route will be closed, whereas many temporary alterations are made from Daboli Airport to Panji route in view of PM security. Prime Minister will leave Delhi Airport for Goa at 7.30 on Saturday morning. Modi will land at Daboli Airport at around 9.30 a.m. Modi will first visit INS Ansa at 10.30 a.m. PM will inspect Vikramaditya and will be at INS Ansa till 1 in the afternoon. Thereafter, Prime Minister Narendra Modi will land at Goa University ground by his helicopter to proceed towards Raj Bhavan. Modi will be in Raj Bhavan by quarter to two. Then, Narendra Modi will address BJP Karyakartas at Shama Prasad Mukherjee Stadium at Taligaon at four in the evening. This gathering will be exclusively of BJP Karyakartas. Modi's address to his Karyakartas will end within half an hour. From the stadium, Modi will head for Kala Academy and reach there by 4.50 p.m. He will unveil the plaque of 3rd Mandavi Bridge. At 5.15 on Saturday evening, Modi will be at Marriott's to meet special invitees. This special interaction will end within half an hour. Thereafter, PM will leave back for Dabori Airport by helicopter and by 6.30 p.m. he will reach the airport. By 9.30 p.m. at night, PM Modi will leave for Delhi. Special Protection Group had a mock drill of security arrangements on Friday evening in Panji to ensure everything is in place. The convoy consisted of 26 vehicles. Watch mock drill visuals of PM's security arrangements. Kala Academy to Dona Paula route will be closed on the backdrop of Narendra Modi's Goa visit. Traffic police have already alerted Goans to avoid entering Panji as much as possible as there is a possibility of a massive traffic jam. Around 500 police personnel will be deployed in and around Panji to ensure that PM's Goa visit is a trouble free. Uh, our main arrangement is Shama Prasad up to Raj Bhavan to Kala Academy. Yeah, yeah, main rush. That's why Rami, that's a moment. Salo astalo. Mantakas lockang request us. Anwar City Road avoid kar. So, ani Miramar to Kala Academy. Ani Dona Paul to NIO Junction to Miramar. Or rasta main rasta asa to avoid kar. So, special status and dual citizenship prashna che rupai kattel ashe utar Bhajapan election avar dille. Shenwarchi Modi ji Goa trip infrastructure che bardi tli. Tari koi special status and dual citizenship sarkya jatil prashna che kine tari disha metli kai hai Shenwaras kait lai. Video journalist Omkar Phari Aungna Loki Chilkar, Prudent Media Khatir. It's time for a short break, stay tuned.